hey, better late than never. And that that's for Tua and for me. What is up, Finn fans? This news broke like an hour and a half ago. I've been dying to get on here and talk about it, but Tua Tungavailoa gets a contract extension. Four years, $212.4 million, $167.1 million guaranteed. It is the largest for a four-year deal, but it isn't the largest guaranteed money, and we will talk about that. Now, I was hoping by the time I came on, like the hour and a half that I was sitting there, just um, contract details would be released. It isn't, so I will be making another video fully breaking down to his contract seeing what how the cap space is spread out when the out is how the guaranteed money is all that stuff because right now all we have is somewhat of the details but when we get the full thing we can really sit here and assess to a tongue of Iloa's full contract now just right off the bat first thing I, you know, I saw when I saw this is I was like, yes, I expected this. I thought he was going to get signed before training camp, at least like the 15th or the 22nd. That didn't happen. But I thought to myself, and I was telling you guys this, there is no way that they were going to let Sunday come and to a not get a contract extension and then not be on the field when the fans are in the stands. No way. No way on God's green earth was that going to happen. That's the first thing I thought. Second thing I thought, Jordan Love has yet to be paid. And Tua's average salary per year is third in the NFL behind Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. And jo yes, I was like, did I say Jordan Love? Jordan Love has yet to be paid. And if they're going to give him a big old fat, fat, fat contract, Tua is going to have the fourth average contract, which again, averages don't mean bupka, nothing. Zilch, nada. So there's that. That's also what I'm thinking in my head. Now, again, Tua came out. Let's. I'm going to play this for you because Tua came out and he said some nice things. He was a, he was a gentleman, a scholar, um, and he said some nice things. So I'm going to play this for you guys. What's up, guys? Tua here. Got some breaking news for you guys, although I never break any news. This is the first time for me wanted to say that I agreed to a contract extension with the Miami Dolphins. Just want to give a big shout out to Mr. Ross. I want to thank Chris Greer, Brandon Shore for working endlessly on uh, this deal. I want to thank Mike McDaniel for believing in me. I want to thank all my other coaches as well. I also want to give a big shout out to my teammates for believing in me, for also supporting me throughout this process. And then I also want to thank the fans as well. Fins up. There you go. Tua is signed four years so he signed he'll be with the dolphins for another five how much is guaranteed how much he will get all that stuff we will talk about that when the time comes but like i said you could see it here Tua a tongue of Iloa, <coughs> highest paid quarterback per yearly basis he is sitting here in between jared goff and trevor lawrence i think that's what the dolphins kind of wanted to put him in um i think tour is better than trevor lawrence but you know we can argue about that all day um you can expect these guys to probably get paid more money especially joe burrow especially uh, not joe burrow sorry um patrick mahomes and especially josh allen are going to want new contracts especially when you see this but again I'm trying to give you the deets that I got, and it ain't much. I also got somewhat of an inside source that I thought was kind of interesting. Now, this is from Spot Track and kind of where I get my information from contract wise. Tua Tungavello's four year, $212.4 million extension with the Dolphins comes with a reported $167 million guaranteed, which ranks eighth among NFL contracts down here. Goff, Hertz, Jackson, Lawrence, Herbert, Burrow, and Watson all get more guaranteed money in their contract. So again, to the people who are flipping out, why did they pay him so much? Oh my God. He's not getting the most guaranteed money on their contract. Watson's is fully guaranteed. Burrow and Herbert got more guaranteed money. Trevor Lawrence got more guaranteed money. Jackson, Hurt, Hertz, and Goff all got more guaranteed money. So again, I need to see the contract details because that is where we'll know. Did we sit, shave money off of the cap this year or did we shave money off the cap next year? Same thing going on with uh, Tyreek Hill and all that other stuff. Also, 
If you scroll down here, he says, the practical guarantee on Tua's contract comes across the next three seasons, giving the Dolphins a reasonable out timeline and Tua a very reasonable chance to cash in again before he turns 30 years old. Fair risk by both sides. So it seems like the, the out is in three years. So not this season, not next season. The season after that is the out. So three years it seems like we're going to be stuck with him. But again, I don't, you only saw one of the quotes. I own, I don't know the full details. I need them deets. Give me the deets. Um, what else do I got for you? Tua Tungalala, da da da. The average 53.1 puts him just ahead of golf. Eighth, yes, I already said that. Uh, ba ba ba. Jet fans are talking their smack, which I always think is funny. Aiden. Just want to shout out my man Aiden here. <laughs> he was asking Doug when's the video coming out. It was two hours ago. I apologize. Life has a life has a way of sneaking up on you. Um, here's another one that I found to be very interesting. So it's five fifty three point one million a year for four years, which is reported seventy nine percent guaranteed. I propose five, uh, 53 a year for five years, 76% guaranteed. So that's Joe Shad there. Um, but there was one that I, the stat that I saved that I thought was very interesting. Um, without seeing full nuances of the contract, the similar numbers feel very fair. A tad more, well, 0.1 million per golf, but less 3 million in guarantees. Market deal without resetting the market. At least in terms of negotiation, this feels like a win-win. And that is from Jeff Darlington. He says it feels like a win-win onward. So it's a fair deal. It's a, it's a market deal, but we didn't reset the market. We didn't make him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL right now. Austin Jackson came out. He had this to say, yes, Lord. Um, who else? This is River Craycraft, best in the league. Then you got a bunch here from all these different guys. Adam Schefter believes Jordan Love will be soon the richest player in Green Bay history. Again, that's the next thing that's going to pop off. Um, according to sp I'm just gonna pick up, but <laughs> according to Spot Track, to his average percent of cap at sign is 20.8 percent, which is 11th among quarterbacks. With the NFL salary cap going up, this is not a contract that should entirely prohibit Miami from maintaining a competitive roster. Again, great breakdown, Joe. But also, we don't know the contract details. So Tua is not being, overall, looking at this contract deal, looking at this whole shebang, Tua is not being paid the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. I'm happy with that because to me, Tua hasn't played as the best quarterback in the NFL. So to me, that was my biggest apprehension is that um, I don't think he should have been paid that high, but I like his number. I don't have my phone because the only re the only way I could get down here was with if was if I gave my daughter my phone and she would let me come make this video. I got a text message from somebody that kind of has an in, right? This is my only source, and it's not a big source. And from what I heard is that Tua took less money than Athletes First wanted him to take. From what I'm hearing, Athletes First wanted him to was pushing for him to have 175 million guaranteed and he took the less money to get the deal done. Is this true? Is this 100% fact? Take it as you will. But this is what I was told that athletes first wanted him to take 175 fully guaranteed. He took the lesser to get the contract done. That's what I heard. If that's the case and if that's true, Good for Tua to get the job done. He definitely put his team first. And again, it is not the highest paid. It is like the 11th in guaranteed money. It When we look at the contract details, like Joe Shad said, we are still going to be able to put pieces around Tua, hopefully on the offensive line, hopefully in the defense. This contract for Tua Tungavaloa is not going to inhibit the team from continuing to build a hopeful championship roster. So to all the people who think he doesn't deserve to be the highest paid, he's not the highest paid. His contract is going to screw the Dolphins over for years. It's not going to screw the Dolphins over for years. He sucks. He doesn't suck. 
<laughs> Tua is not a bad quarterback. Is he the best? Does he need to work on things? Let me answer these things. Is he the best? No. Does he need to work on things? 100%. Here's what I'm going to do. Later tonight, I'm going to go live. I'm going to go live. I'm thinking around 8 o'clock. I'm going to chat with you guys for about an hour. We're going we're gonna to talk about this. We're going to talk about training camp. Um, so I'll be live at 8 o'clock tonight, um, and, and we'll chat more about this. Maybe if the contract details get released, I will break them down in the live stream. But live tonight, 8 o'clock, um, let's do it. And other than that, Tua got paid. And that's why he was at camp today, and that's why he was a full participant because he knew I'm getting paid. All right, I'll go work with you guys. So it didn't. It took longer than we thought. It was what two, three days longer than we thought, but it got done. And now we can stop complaining about this. Focus on the Dolphins season, and hopefully go win the AFC East. But like usual, stay classy. It ends up.